What up everyone, it's your boy Mark here, coming at you live with another Arch Linux speedrun, going for gold today. I'm feeling it, I'm really feeling like we can get a sub 10 minute install here. Now, I know the Arch Linux speedrun meta has currently been using parted to format your disks, which is obviously the most hardest part, but now I'm thinking I'm gonna use fdisk to try and eke out some extra seconds. Using the, the most recent Arch Linux ISO, of course, um, and as always, to comply with regulations, we're going to be using um, QMU and Vert Manager emulation uh, on a Linux host, of course. Again, latest uh, Arch Linux install. And yeah, of course, default memory settings, 1024 meg and one CPU only. So makes it fair for everyone. As always, this setup time isn't counted um, as you kind of want to be careful with it. Same with image verification if you're downloading. Don't want to mess that up. Thin provision, uh, you don't want thick, could give you some increased speed. No thick provisioning. Uh, choose volume, that's it. Name can be anything. Okay, so we're about to start. Um, it starts as soon as I press enter. I think I've gone over all the rules. Currently using this window here, but I'm actually I'm actually going through a different method that's a bit unorthodox today. Uh, most users will actually stay in the console the whole time. However, I actually have this terminal window open because I'm going to SSH into my Archbot. Further terminal, and I do believe it costs about 30 seconds to set up but it, you more than make that up with the speed of the terminal text display. So you save a few frames here and there, but that more than makes up for it uh, than the, the silly slow console speed. I will be leaving this open though, just in case we get any odd errors that we might have to, to troubleshoot. Set up my speed run times here. As you can see, we're not doing a desktop environment install today. We just need to verify and verify is the, the who am I command. So let's start. Go. So enter first, just default BIOS, obviously, because this should be the same for everyone. So this actually changed with ISO uh, timings and it actually gives you time. So spam enter here because you can actually access the, the console a few seconds earlier. So we're just button mashing here of course, um, standard speed running stuff. Right, so we're logging in automatically, good. All right, here we go. So we got, a, okay, I ping too much. Ping x.com is shortest one, right, we've got networking ready. Pass WD, I wanna give myself a password so I can log in. Need to check the IP address first. Done networking, right, there we go. One minute IP address, s root at 192.168.122.1779. Yes, uh, right, okay, we're in. We're in SSH, SSH, done, time zones, right. Um, time, we wanna set our time up from an NTP source. Oh no, running out of time. Oh, I already messed up early on there, that's pretty bad. Time is great, it is very late. Right, straight into disk partitioning. As you can see, we actually got in there before uh, it actually finished doing all its stuff. So that's where we spam, enter. So I know what disk we're using. Default everything for S stamp. Right. So I, I did make a swap position there. There's actually a bit of a, um, oh gosh, I'm very slow on this. <laughs> There's a bit of a crack in the community here. No one really knows if we should be using swap or not because it's not relevant for the, the speed run. However, I do think it's important. So we're gonna put ext4 here. You could use ext2. There's evidence to say that it is slightly faster, but ext4, just to be sure, make swap. That. Obviously, you've got to memorize your disks uh, beforehand, so I don't have to LS block any of these. So now we are pack strapping. Basic pack strap. Um, here, we'll probably pause the time here. So this split. Oh no, what have I done? Oh no. Huh. Oh god, I forgot to mount. Oh no, lost loads of time there, guys. Oh no. Oh no, I'm losing time here. This is not world record pace at the moment, but we might be sub 10 minutes, which will be top five. Now we go back quickly, pack strap. Oh, that was so embarrassing. Right, so of course time is paused here. Yeah, and when, when I was talking about the partitions before, so lots of people would actually be using parted here, but I believe fdisk is faster if you memorize what commands you need to type in. So fdisk, bim bam bam bam, bish bash bosh. Should have moved the camera out of the way. Uh, I'm also gonna take a break to install VI. It's actually not installed by default, but I, I do believe it's worth installing because it just gives you that extra speed over nano, even though you take out five or so seconds to install it. Again, worth it, like why I'm console and I think it's worth it. Of course, this should be the same speed for everyone, although it's networking based, which is why we pause. You can actually pre-type the next command here. And then we also are gonna want to 
Cheroot straight into it. So this is actually a new tactic here. I forgot what I was typing. Yes, this pre-command typing is, I'm just going to guess. So I've already entered the command there. So I've entered the generate FS stab and arch to root command. I believe it's going to work. This is a completely new thing, which may get us back on world record time. There we go. We're in. Done. And we see we skipped to root there. So now we quickly do our clock. Um. Then we want to sync our hardware clock. Um, what? Oh gosh, lost loads of time there. That was bad. All right, locales. Uh, this is where I install VI normally. Ah, oh, I should have done dash Y. That would have been quicker. Right, so now we go, um, we got to edit our local time. Uh, ENGB actually, uh, takes slightly, oops, takes slightly less time to build, which is why we do that as opposed to US. Generate about 10 seconds faster, so we save lots of time there. Uh, Although I haven't because I've been explaining it to you. Okay, generating them. Again, we don't actually pause here because this isn't network bound. Okay, I believe we now need to edit. Oh no, no, we need to create. Ah, shouldn't the tag complete. So yeah, just enter our locales in there. Again, that's why we installed Vim very quick to do all that. Um, all right, that's done. Hostname. That's not how you set the hostname in this. Yes, it is. Sorry, I'm used to Fedora speedrun sometimes. Uh, we just want to call our host name A. Um, saves time, of course. When it, whenever we enter a new line, it will print A as opposed to a full host name. Um, so there is debate wherever you have to do this as well, but I'm going to do it anyway. A, uh, and then we want uh, localized. No, oops. Gosh, I'm messing up this because I'm recording, guys. Normally, I'm so much quicker than this. Sorry, everyone. All right, that's hostname done. Now we're going to set our root password. Oh, no. That's so slow. All right, grub. Don't have to use grub. There is debate on whether or not you would want to use a Linux loader for your bootloader because it's quicker, but uh, I don't believe it is. Well, I haven't actually tried it. But if anyone wants to try that, they, they could easily. And then we'll also grub me. Come on. I think that's fine. We're still sub 10 minutes. Now we pray. Close this, we don't need this anymore. Ah, uh, root A. Done. Oh. 10.29. Okay, 10.29. Right, um. We were pretty slow there, but I believe that is at least top three, especially considering the uh, the pack strap. So we it's three minutes off our time. Wow, we did really well there. That is a sub 10 minute time, everyone. Uh, easily top three. Next time we're gonna go for a sub five minute. I think it's possible if I don't mistype and using that new trick we discovered this uh, time, which was actually pre-typing in a bunch of commands during pack strap. I believe you can actually do the rest of the install whilst pack strap is happening but then there'd be a lot of debate and controversy in the speedrunning community if that would even count because Packstrap has skipped the time it takes because it takes so long. Um, or maybe we just wouldn't skip Packstrap then, but then maybe people with faster network connections would work, but maybe that's fine because hardware matters. I don't know. It's different depending on what speedrunning community you remember. It will count differently. But anyway, tune in to next time and check out me out live where we uh, speedrun other things. Next time we're going to try Gen 2 speedruns, although again that takes significantly longer because you've got to compile things, which why I the Arch Linux base install any percent speedrun is the, the be all and end all. It's the bottom line. If you're good at this, you're good at all the others. See, I challenge you to beat that time. Good luck. I want to thank my rabbits for supporting me.